Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, the Pilosopa Podcast. I'm your host. My name is Jiggy Jr. We're actually here at the Feria of the Radisson Blue Hotel Cebu. And I am with uh, the former congressman and former defense secretary, now running for senator, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, Gibo Teodoro. Good morning, Jiggy Jr. and to all the uh, podcast viewers, uh, pleasant good morning uh, to everyone and mayong buntag tanan. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Gibo, for uh, spending time with us here uh, for this podcast. And I think uh, my first question is, like I warned you earlier, you know, we were big fans. We were supporters and followers of Gibo Teodoro when you first ran for, I think, vice president, right? No, Under, president. Uh, for president, right? Yes. Uh, with... Uh, Edu Edu Manzano as your vice president. We were all rooting for you, and then you sort of disappeared from the face of the earth. Uh, What happened to you, and why did you decide to uh, get out of the limelight after that? Uh, Well, after that, uh, wait, uh, let me preface. In my meeting, the Abanse, I said that uh, if I were not elected at that time, I said, uh, I would do things that I still can do. There's a big world to explore. There's a lot of knowledge to be gained. And uh, I was 45 at that time, or 46. It was the right time to do it. So uh, I told the voters very clearly. I mean, uh, perhaps uh, this is a culmination of a peak and... Uh, I, I advocate everybody take a break once in a while. Uh, my break turned out to be not a break, but another learning opportunity. I joined the corporate sector. Uh, I became a member as independent director of several boards, chairman of a company, uh, and other companies. So uh, my exposure in the private sector for the first uh, three or four years after that was a learning experience. Uh, I joined uh, the board of a big financial institution and I'd advocate, you know, uh, some exposure to the private sector for policy makers so they'll know uh, how it feels to be on the other side, the stresses that uh, corporations and other private individuals uh, feel from gov- government policy. Uh, it has also taught me a lot, like ESG uh, uh, concepts, corporate social responsibility, and other emerging trends, which perhaps if I stayed in government, uh, I would not have picked up on. Uh, so I come back this time post-pandemic, the pandemic was a game changer and I think that it changed lives of a lot of people probably permanently uh, if this is the new normal and probably that's why I can contribute because I have uh, experience in the private sector which is crucial to the recovery of this country and uh, perhaps I can better judge now what can and cannot be done and if things can be done, what the timelines are. Uh, I've uh, gotten more experience with uh, private sector management, with goals, targets uh, that need to be met, and uh, planning goals that need to be followed. Uh, So it's uh, more science-based management than uh, political management, but I, I believe that pol- politics can use a bit of science. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> especially now. 